Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing my week two check-in for the month of September. So we are gonna jump right on into it. Um, we are now getting into the back of the book. So um, this might actually be a little bit quicker than normal because there is not like a whole lot going on. So we're gonna look at my expense tracker that I have. And on here, I had already, or after, last after week one i went in and put everything in and week two started on the 8th actually so from the 8th through the 14th um i actually ended up having to pay for netflix because it didn't get canceled in time so i ended up having to pay for that i also got paid 3109.11 I paid my Ashley credit card for $96, half of my Amex at $130, half of Auto at $313. Um, our spending accounts got $720. Um, household sinking funds got $56. Personal sinking funds, $15. And our savings got $17. And then I did my household transfer of $500. And daycare also got $500 as well. I have said this in several other videos, but this will actually be my last personal budget that I share with you guys. I will be moving over to my household budget come October. So things will look a little bit different. So that is what is going on. And left over in the account is now $969.47. Okay, so now we're going to get into my actual... Um, what is it called? My actual expenses for the month, or not for the month, y'all, for the week. So this is going to be my new cashless cash binder. Um, I showed you guys this last week, but I've been using it and I love it. Okay, so um, if you like it, I love it. Um, so we are gonna go through and look at everything that I have spent for, um, this week sorry y'all like everything's like all over the place um okay so we're gonna start off with groceries and we are gonna look at oops okay okay i see how this is going okay um we are gonna look at groceries and for groceries we went to walmart on the 8th and we're just gonna put that down here and I went to Walmart and I spent $34.08, okay? Which leaves me with $63 to work with for the next two weeks. Y'all, <laughs> I don't know what we're doing with that, but there we are with that. Ooh, next is going to be gas. And gas, I believe, is orange, yes. So we are going to look at gas. And I'm hoping this is not like too close up. So for gas, I had just one gas this week and that was on the 14th. Okay. And I did shell this time because I wasn't in a spot to get HEB gas. So I did shell gas, but it was still fairly reasonable $33.59 for shell gas all right so that is where we are with gas okay next is going to be household and y'all I have not spent anything in household kudos to me <laughs> but it's because I know things are going to come up that I'm going to have to use this money for so let me not get too happy um, so, um, as I am doing this, actually, no, not just yet. Not just yet. So nothing for household y'all. Now we're going to go to personal and I'm really like upset with this because I didn't do any lunches this week and it caused me to spend dearly for lunches and eating things. I have no business eating y'all none whatsoever. So, um, on the 13th, I got Chipotle, which is fine because to me, Chipotle is probably like the healthiest thing that I can, you know, like have for myself. 
and I spent $14.88 for Chipotle. But then on the 14th, we were supposed to have a food truck. The food truck never turned up um, or they had to cancel. And so I did not have anything planned to eat. And that was what I was going to eat because that food truck, they feed the office for free. And so, yeah, I had to go and buy lunch. And I was trying to be conscious of the money that I was spending. I don't know why I went to McDonald's, but I did. And I spent $6.84. And y'all, keep in mind, I've been busting my butt and exercising. McDonald's is not the thing to be eating at all. Um, and I know you're saying like, Janelle's only two things, but still, it's a lot of things. <laughs> It is a lot of things, okay? I should not be purchasing anything at all because this money that's in personal actually should be going towards my next hair appointment and my nails. Y'all see in one week how they've grown out like, uh, okay. And then for regular spending, we did not do anything. And I'm gonna just let y'all know, I'm gonna have to buy lunch again for Friday. So I'm probably gonna take money out of here because I don't have any more money to give in my personal account. So that is where we are for all of my cashless cash envelopes. And fun fact, y'all, I have not spent anything in my sinking funds. So that is also good as well. So we are going to now go and look at where we stand for the week. So I'm going to bring this over here. So first things first is, um, well, actually, you guys, I had planned to show you guys how to work the uh, spending accounts in Ally Bank, but I'm so far behind in getting the money into the bank and being able to pay everything back out that I'm going to leave it for October when things have calmed down a little bit and I can get everything to where I need it to be. However, you will see somewhere on the screen, the money that I finally got moved over. Um, I'm putting the money that I budgeted into Excuse me. Uh, the buddy that I budgeted into those accounts, um, me putting that money in there. And then actually after this video, I'm going to go and pay everything back out. So for groceries, I budgeted $300. Gas, I budgeted $200. Household, I budgeted $150. $70 for personal and nothing for spending. And I don't do anything for sinking funds. So at the beginning of week two, once everything was paid out, we did $300 minus $202.92 because that's what I paid back. So I had a budget of $9,708. And then we ended up spending... 3408 so minus 3408 should leave me with $63. Okay. Next is going to be gas. We were negative $69.26, so we'll do 200 minus 69.26 equals 130 130.74. And we actually spent this week 33 59. So we'll do 33.59, which leaves me with 97.15. And you know, as I'm doing this, I should just uh, double check that that is what is in uh, these accounts so that I'm, I'm mathing correctly. So yes, 97.15. Next is going to be household. And I had 27 cents plus 150. So we had 150.27 to budget. I spent nothing, so we have one fifty twenty seven for personal. Um, I added seventy dollars. Oh, so sorry, y'all. Um, personal, I need to make sure I'm looking correctly. Had twenty nine twenty seven. So 70, oops, 70 plus, ah, 
Hold on, y'all. 70 plus 29, 27. I'm trying to get to the game, y'all. I'm trying to get to the game. I'm missing the second half. Um, puts me at 99, 27. Okay. Um, and then, actually, I need to add $10 to that because I have an automatic payment um, that goes into that account every time that I get paid as well, too. So I'm going to do this, but I'm going to put plus 10 and circle it. So I know that like that just wasn't, it wasn't my like actual money I budgeted. So 109.27 is what I had budgeted, you guys. And we spent $14.88 plus $6.84, which puts me at... 21.72 and when we minus that by 109.27 that leaves us with 87.55 although this is saying 88.46 hmm let's look at this really quickly and see where I am off so we were at 109 we did 1488, but I needed it to match what was in this is what was actually in my account, which was 9457. And that was because I was off with the change. And then I have 684, but this was 624. Okay, that's where I went wrong. Okay, see, this is why it's always good to write things down more than once. So um, six six twenty four plus fourteen eighty eight is twenty one twelve. Okay, minus one o nine twenty seven equals eighty eight fifteen. What? We were good here. I added 18 cents. Because this is where we are, 109. 109.27 minus 1488 equals 94.39 plus 0.18 equals 94.57 minus 624. 88. 33. Y'all, see, this is why it's important to check yourself. Okay, see, these numbers ain't adding up. We're going to need to go back to the drawing board on this one because I don't understand. But whatever's in my bank, I've been using my debit card, so that is going to be the right thing. I don't know what happened, y'all. I don't know what happened. We're just going to leave that blank. And then um, we did nothing for spending. So um, spending is gonna continue to have $46.89. And then I did not do anything for sinking funds, y'all. So last thing I like to do is just calculate how much money I have spent for the week. Um, so let's add that up. So we had $34.08 for groceries. $33.59 for gas, $21.12 for spending. No, $21.12 for spending. Yeah. Wow, this was actually a very low month. I mean, a very low week, although I'm upset for the amount of money I spent in my personal. So I spent $88. Wow, $88.79. So I actually did very, very good compared to last week, y'all. Um, but it's just the week that I fell on y'all but this continues I mean this continues this completes my weekly check-in for the second week of September which was the 8th through the 14th I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and sub subscribe share with your friends and family and I will see you guys in the next one